Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today's session I am going to discuss about VLSI programming concept. So in VLSI edition, we have two methods to write the program. So first method is VHDL program and second method is Verilog HDL. So in this video, I focus on Verilog HDL. So how to write the program. So 4 to 1 multiplexer programming concept. So this programming concept is a gate level method. So before I start to write the program first, I draw the block diagram of 4 to 1 marks then that block diagram is converted into logical diagram. So first I draw the block diagram for 4 is to 1 marks. So 4 is to 1 marks. Here applying 4 input lines that namely called as I0, I1, I2, I3. Then output line, it namely called as out. So generally 4 is to 1 marks, it has a 4 input, it allows only one output based on the selection line. So the selection line namely called as S1 and S0. So here only two selection lines. So this selection line combination is 4 combinations. So it provides 4 combinations. 0, 0, 0, 1. 1 0 1 1 so based on the selection line only the input value is connected to output side suppose s0 and s1 both the values are 0 i0 is connected to out so this i0 is connected to output 0 1 i1 is connected to output 1 0 i2 connected to output 1 1 i3 connect to output so it's a basic block diagram of 4 to 1 marks so this block diagram is converted into logical circuits logical circuit for 4 is to 1 marks first you draw the selection line s1 and s0 then complement of S1 complement of S0 then I draw the 4 AND gate so these AND gates are 3 input AND gate so first combinations of input S1 0 S0 value 0 so S1 value 0 we can take the input from output of not gate and S0 value 0 third input is I0 so this I0 value then second AND gate you are applying the second possibility of selection line input 0 1 so S1 value 0 S0 value 1 third input I1 then third AND gate you apply in the third selection line input S1 value 1 S0 value 0 third input I2 the final one is both the values of high level 1 1 so S1 value 1 S0 value 1 third output is I2 so after that you can get the output from AND gate. So these four output connect to one OR gate. So output of mass it release only one out. So only one output signal. So then you assign the intermediate net and internal net signals. So this called as an intermediate net S1 N S0 N so S1 N represent so not of S1 signal so complement of S1 signal so S0 N represent complement of S0 signal so these two signals are called as an intermediate net signal then internal net signal Y0 Y1 Y2 Y3 
So this four output signal, so it's called as an internal net signal. So based on this logical circuit only, we can write the program very easily. Now I start to write the program. So first declare module, then module name. So module name is 4 to 1 marks. So first you write module, then you write module name. After that, declaration of port line. So what are the input signals and output signals used in 4 to 1 marks? So here, input signals are 6 signals. So I0, I1, I2, I3 and S1, S0 is the input signal. Only one output signal, the name we call as out. So first I declare output signal out. Then I0, I1, I2, I3, I4, S0, then S1. So first you write module, then module name, then you are declaring the port list. So how many input lines and output lines are present in the block diagram? They declare here. So after that, declaration of output port and input port. So first I declare output port. So output, output name is out. So out is a output port name. Then declaration of input input here these four lines are considered as input signal i0 i1 i2 i3 so these four lines are considered as input then one more input signal so this input signal is a selection line s0 and s1 so s1 comma s0 so, so far you declare in the module and module name output port list. So, which lines are used for output and which lines are used for input signals. Then, you declare in the intermediate net and internal net. So, that called as a wire. So, wire. First, I declare in the intermediate signal. S1, N, comma, S0, N. Then I declare the internal nets. So Y0 to Y3. So that's also called as a wire. Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3. So after declaring the wire signal, now we take it as gate 1 by 1. So because it's a gate level programming, so first I take first not gate. So not of. First you represent the output signal, then you represent the input signal. So output signal is S1 N. Input signal is S1. So not gate input signal is S1. Output of not gate is complement of S1. So S1 of N. Then you take second not gate. The output signal is S0 N. Input signal is S0. So this two not get function is over. Then you take this, this four and get operation. And output signal is Y0. First you write output signal. Then you write the input signal. So I0, S1, N, comma, S0, N. First AND gate declaration over, then second AND gate function AND Y1, so Y1 is the output signal, then input signal I1, comma, so this value is 1, sorry 0, this value is 1, so S1 of N, comma, S0, so 0, 1, then third AND gate AND Y2, so output is Y2, Input is I2, comma, S1 and S0, N. S1, S0, N. Then fourth AND gate. Output is Y3. Input is I3, comma, S1, S0. 
So, so far, you give the function of NOR gate and AND gate. Then, output of this 4 AND gate is given to input of OR gate. Finally, you achieve the output. So, now, OR gate function OR. So, output is out. Then, input value is Y0, comma, Y1, comma, Y2, comma, Y3. So, all the gates, initialization function over. So, final statement of the program is N module. So, N module. So, it is a halt. So, end of the program. So, so far we are discussing how to write the program in gate level. 4 to 1 marks. You just draw the block diagram. So, after drawing the block diagram, that diagram is converted into logical level. So, with the help of this logical level only, you can write the program very easily. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are not subscribed my channel, kindly subscribe and support us to make lot of videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you.